Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell, and today at Go Parallel, I'm going to show you how to compile the uh, samples that come with the Math Kernel Library. And that's a good place to get started when you want to actually try out the Math Kernel Library in your own application. So go ahead and start up the Visual Studio command prompt. You can find it down here, Microsoft Visual Studio, in the uh, Visual Studio Tools and Developer Command Prompt. That will set the variables to point to the different uh, utilities, particularly the nmake utility, which is the main one we need here. And then we need to go ahead and install the uh, utilities that come with the Intel compiler. So let's head over to Program Files, uh, x86, and Intel. And it's going to be in the Composer XE. Now there's two directories for each of these. There's the actual Composer XE 2013 SP1. And then there's a Composer XE, which is inside there is just a junction to the directories inside Composer uh, 2013. That way, if you install different versions, you can keep them, uh, have easy access to them. So we'll just go into the Composer, the real one here. And inside there, you're going to find the uh, bin directory that has the shell script that you need to install or run and it is called iclvaris.bat. So go ahead and run that <clears throat> and it'll tell us the options and we want the Intel 64 and now we're set up so we'll be able to find the, the compilers and for the Intel, and since we're at the Visual Studio prompt, we'll have the NMake utility. So now I'll go up, back up one, and then we've got uh, MKL is right in there. So let's go to MKL. And in there are several directories. For instance, the include directory is where all the header files are. Now, if you take a look at that, you'll notice there's actually uh, several versions of each. For example, the solver one here. If we take a look at what's what all is there more closely, uh, there's a .h file, and for each of these, uh, and then there's several different Fortran ones, and that's because uh, a Math Kernel library is available for uh, both C, C++, and for Fortran, and several different versions of Fortran. For example, there's Fortran 77 and Fortran 90, and you can take a look at those if you want. We'll take a look at the F90 one. And not much to it, but it's your uh, basic header file, and it includes the, some other ones. Uh, and then we can similarly open up the one for C, C++, and it's again just a header file, and but this time for C, C++. Okay, now let's go over to the examples. Back in the MKL directory, there's an uh, examples directory. <clears throat> and they they come as zip files. I already unzipped one of these, the examples core, and let's go into there. Now inside here are several directories with samples and whatnot. And let's go to this one, uh, BLAS for the linear algebra one. And there's a make file right there, and the source. Now in the source, if we look at that, uh, these are all .f files. That's because they are Fortran files. And here at Go Parallel, we're, we're going to be exploring Fortran a good bit more with Intel Parallel Studio. And let's just take a quick look at one of these. It doesn't really matter which one. I just want to see what they look like. That They are indeed Fortran. and some print statements and calls and it's pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and compile this. We go up one. All we need to do is if we look at the make file it actually gives the some samples in here for usage. Uh, skip right down here. If we just do copy this right here, this particular end make and paste it in. and it starts to compile.
We'll let this run a minute and then I will resume the video when it's finished. And we're back and it looks like it finished. Uh, we did not get any errors and you can see we have created an executable. Uh, right now it doesn't really matter though what that executable is since we didn't really look at the code or anything. Uh, the main goal here was just to make sure that we have everything installed so that we can build something against the math kernel library. In the next video we'll create some of our own code and link it against the MKL and test it out.